The following is a video that walks through the process of creating an Oracle OCI Marketplace listing. Before you get started, you'll need to have three things in place. First, you'll need to be set up with your Oracle Partner Network membership, your OPN membership. Second, you'll need to make a publisher request. And third, you'll need to have a publisher agreement in place. Each of those steps are documented in other areas, and there's an associated blog that goes with this video that has the links embedded there as well. The focus of this video is to create a listing. Once you're set up with your OPN partner membership and set up as a publisher, you'll be able to access this site, the Oracle Partner Portal site. I'm on the home section here, and the element we're going to focus on is the create listing option. Once you're logged in, you can click on create listing. And as you'll see, there are three listing types. We're going to focus on the one here in the middle called the OCI application listing. But before I get into that, let me talk about a couple of the other things on here, including the other listing types. But first, talk about listing content options. The default for my listing is English, but if you publish it listings in different languages, you can select them here. The other listing types available are application listings, and these are typically used by partners that are creating listings for the Oracle HCM or CX or ERP suites of products. The service listings are typically used by companies that are system integrators that are building out services offerings. As I mentioned, we're gonna focus on this one here in the middle. Each of these have the same option for learn more underneath. If you click on the learn more option, what you'll get is a new web page that pops up that talks about the documentation and walks through the partner portal instructions. Almost every scenario you can imagine is captured here beyond the obvious things like creating a listing, which we're gonna show here in just a minute. It also talks about how you create installation packages, how do you manage and capture leads, how are taxes processed, and also if you're creating a paid listing, how you as the partner get paid. The idea and intent is that the create listing process is as much self-serve as possible However, if you do run into issues or have any questions or concerns, there is a team available to help. Those links are at the end of this video. So let's switch back to the partner portal. As I mentioned, we're going to focus on the OCI application listing. So when you click on this and click on, click on create listing, you'll get the first page of two. The idea is that it's a straightforward process. There are two pages to create a listing. The first page has four required fields. The first is the application name. The second is your headline. Third are the categories. We'll talk about those in a moment. And fourth, you'll be required to enter pricing information. Two fields that are optional but recommended are keywords and configure URLs. Let's go through these to get started. An application name can be anything you want. You can call it my app, for example, just for this scenario here. You pick a headline, and this headline can be anything you want it to be. As I mentioned, categories, these are predefined fields for the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, and you get to pick and choose up to three of these. So for example, if you're in the cloud management space, and maybe you're building something with artificial intelligence, and maybe using the Oracle container engine for Kubernetes, you can pick those. If you decide those aren't the fields you want, you can unselect them and select something else as needed. For pricing information, there are three options. Free, BYOL, or bring your own license, and paid. Free is just like it sounds. Some partners want to provide free listings. Sometimes they're for trial periods. Sometimes they're for specific regions or a certain amount of data. It's up to the partner to decide how they want to set those up. BYOL we'll come back to in just a moment. Paid listings are something a lot of partners are also doing, and that is where the partner provides an image or an artifact within their listing that could be directly deployed 
to the end customer's tenancy where Oracle will pay the partner for the solution that gets deployed and the paid listing will be covering the OCI usage and also the partner product. For a paid listing, there's an added step that the partner will need to do and that is to set up themselves as a supplier. And that's a very straightforward process. It's also documented in the accompanying blog. We're gonna focus on bring your own license. This is a case where the, part, the end customer may already have a license from the partner or they may be buying net new or maybe extending existing licenses. We're gonna pick BYOL, click save. The next things are keywords. Keywords can be anything you want. So if you're working in the Kates or Kubernetes space, maybe with DevOps, maybe with AI. Again, these are free form fields that you can fill out anything you want. Just separate them by commas. Finally, these last two fields, and these are both optional. If you have a demo site, you can add that link here. And if you have self-paced training, you can add that here. And of course, those will show up on your listing. As I mentioned, these are optional fields, but if you have them, of course, we recommend them. The same with the keywords. If you have keywords, we recommend using them. Once you're done with this part here, you click on save and it opens up the second page. The second page has all the information from page one. So if you do decide that you mistyped something or you didn't like something you saw, you can always go back in here and edit it and it will let you change the name and change any of the other fields. There are two things to point out here on the second page. You'll have a banner option that goes on the top of your listing and an icon, which could be your logo, it could be the product logo, it could be anything that makes sense for your business. The most important point here is these Images need to be the exact size, both for the banner and for the icon. If you try and submit it in a slightly different size, it'll throw an error and it'll basically tell you that you need to put them in in the exact size. The other information that's captured here is the top level info about what is the product and what it does. And this is a required field as noted by the asterisk. When you click on edit, it pops up two, two areas. One is your short description. So this can be a description of what the product is and what it does. And then within the follow on field, this is a what you see is what you get field where you can capture all the information about the product in as much detail as you want to and need to. You have options for bold and underline, also bullets and numbering. So you can make this look and feel the way you want. Additional information, include the markets you want to participate in. The default is the worldwide commercial markets. If you sell into the US government or to the UK government, you can select or deselect these fields. The roving edge product is something that Oracle has built for government agencies. If you work with government agencies, you might want to explore what roving edge is for your business. Additional information includes usage. This can be things like where the product should be configured and any specifics you want to highlight to a potential customer for how they would use it. We also recommend adding screenshots and videos. We allow for the capability of adding versions. There are partners that, that change versions on a regular basis and they track that information here. Uh, additional application properties, any related documents, it could be support, could be help, could be something that will help an end customer to understand your product or possibly deploy it in the way they need to. Another required field is support. It's very easy to add this. You can type in support and put in your company's URL and click save. It's as simple as that. And finally, the last two fields are Languages, if you are listing in different languages, you can change this information here. And if you have recommended service providers, you can include them here as well. So instead of capturing all this information and typing it in and making me watch do that, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible and show you an example of what we've done with another partner. I'm gonna show you what we did with GitLab. This is a listing that GitLab built on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. They've got their company name, their logo, product description. This also happens to be a BYOL listing. 
they've got information about what is the application, so the headline and the content, usage information, screenshots and videos, supporting documentation, and of course the required support information and version details. I'm using this as an example because it makes it easier to see instead of watching me cut and paste to see what an example listing looks like. GitLab's done a great job here. So switching back to the portal, if you're entering all this information here, the purpose of the partner portal is that the partner is 100% in control at all times of the listing process for both the creation, the publishing, and if need be, changing and or withdrawing listings in the future. And as I mentioned with this, the help screens, the idea is to make it so that it's as self-serve as possible, but there is support available. Once you've captured all your information, you click on submit, and it will pop you up to a last page here. And this is a, an option for partners. So if you do want the listing to be published automatically as soon as it's been approved by Oracle, you check this box or uncheck this box, depending on what you want to do. It will also capture any additional information about your listing that the tool may have noticed you left out or maybe, maybe need to change. You can also add any comments. And once you're happy with everything you've got here, you click on, I've confirmed I've reviewed and man followed the guidelines. And once you're done with everything, you click on submit again, and that's it. That's the whole process for creating a Oracle OCI marketplace listing. The following page has a couple of links that are to capture information about where help is available, where support is available, and where additional information is so that you can make your listing as complete as possible. If you have questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing your listing on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace.